Hallihallo und herzlich willkommen zu Let's Play mit Lumi und herzlich willkommen zu Episode 3 von The Walking Dead Michonne. Was wir verdienen. Das ist die Frage, was wir verdienen. Randall hat auf jeden Fall den Tod verdient. Und den hat er bekommen. I didn't think she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. Michonne, what is it? Zwei Wochen früher. Da war die Welt noch in Ordnung, sofern man das so nennen kann. Kein Randall, keine Angie. Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. Not looking forward to that. Water's gonna be an ice bowl. Really, you'd come after me? You're one of us now. And I can't be the only brains around here. Oh, freezing my ass off. Here. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. Go on. You'll be glad you did. Damn, Oak. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Mm. You sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. Hey, City! Did you hear the one about the kittens who took over the boat? What? Oh, no. Berto, no. <laughs> it was a mutiny! <laughs> Berto, just stop it now, okay? I'm warning you. <laughs> Damn it. I despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit is now. They're growing on me too. Kind of nice that people can still joke around. It's a fine line between the court jester and the village idiot. You can guess which side I think he's on. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed her trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. Hmm. 
You did the right thing. And it got my brother killed. The right thing can kiss my ass. A few weeks later, I came across Pete, ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions, didn't turn me away, just welcomed me in. Pete's a good goddamn egg in a rotten world. I don't always get Pete, but I'm glad people like him still exist. I'll drink to that. Mmm, it's a boy. Well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Besides, none of us can remember the rules. So, it'd be the most, uh, unique game of Go Fish you've ever played. Yeah. Do me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. Gibt's nicht mehr viel. Oh God, he's dead. I should have stopped you. How could you do this? Every man was tied up, defenseless. You're better than this. He got what he deserved. I knew I shouldn't have left you alone with him. I wanted this. I, I did, but seeing him now... I wish I'd been the one to do it. Sam. It was my dad. My family. I should have killed Randall myself. I didn't do it for you. I wanted to kill him. Well... As long as you got what you wanted, right? Uh! Nanu's good. Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I, I didn't mean he ruined everything. He killed. I know, I know. You don't know. Wait. You hear that? Calm the fuck down. You should change your fucking tone. You might be sitting pretty thinking you have the upper hand, but your luck has changed. Michelle and Sadiq. They got the rest of the crew too. Oak and Berto. Fuck. Look, whatever this bitch asks, don't. Sadiq! Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? Doof. Irgendwie. <laughs> And I hope you weren't lying about him being okay. Look, you don't owe me anything, but please. We have to get them back. That's my deal, Michonne. Just do what she says. I understand. That's what I like to hear. We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us. Holy moly. Ach du Schande. Er lebt ja noch. Na prima. Oh, 
Gut, jetzt nicht so ganz, wie man sich das vielleicht äh, vorstellt. Aber er lebt, Freunde. Und das ist doch schon mal... Guck mal was. Er bewegt sich. Ja. Macht ein bisschen röchelnde Geräusche. Weiß ich nicht. Könnte sein, dass die Norma das vielleicht nicht so gut findet. Wir werden sehen. Jetzt kommt erstmal wieder der grandiose Vorspann mit der tollen Musik, die sofort gestrikt wird, wenn ich die mit drin lasse. Geht wahrscheinlich erst ab Abogröße 100.000 plus X. Aber auch die Bilder sind toll. Ja gut, Randall ist ein Zombie. Gut, er zappelt ein bisschen rum. Vielleicht kann man das irgendwie für uns noch benutzen und äh, die Norma damit ein bisschen täuschen. Aber ich befürchte ja, das wird ein ganz ein kritisches Ding. Und eine schwierige Sache werden. Ich meine, ganz blöd ist die ja auch nicht. Und ich glaube, die wird den, die wird diesen Ort einfach überrennen und platt machen, oder? Alter. Vielleicht hätte man am Leben lassen sollen. In dem Trailer zu der Episode 3 sieht man auch äh, einen lebenden Randall. Da habe ich schon so gedacht, was ist mit all den Leuten, die ihn nicht haben leben lassen? Das war immerhin ein bisschen mehr als die Hälfte, soweit ich mich erinnern kann. Was machen die dann? Episode 3, What We Deserve. Ja, verdienen wir jetzt Schlechtes, weil wir ihn getötet haben. Das ist hier die Frage. She's coming here for her brother. When she sees what we've done. At least he can walk. Right? <laughs> yeah. If you can call that walking. Let's just hope she doesn't take it out on my guys. Norma wants her brother. It's not like there's another option here. We just need to fool Norma long enough to get our friends back. Then what? Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Even if he was alive, we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. Wouldn't she expect us to run? So what? She knows where we are now. Hiding isn't an option. So let's just go. Stop. Where do you propose we go? I don't know. Does it matter? Anywhere would be better than here. I can't fucking listen to this. What? We're not done here. Sam! It's how die up or was? Oh, ich werde bekloppt. Und vom Tor weg bleiben, Mädel. Hm. Deswegen. Sam, what the hell are you doing? God damn it. Sam, stop. Maybe you're all ready to walk away, but. I'm not just gonna leave him like this. <laughs> we couldn't give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. <laughs> That's all I can give him. There will be time to bury him later. Right now, we need to focus on Norma. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking... My that... mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg. If you want to leave, go ahead. But I'm not coming with you. A bit of time goes on the side, I have to say. But... I'm 
sorry. But I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. So what happens when Norma comes? We fight with everything we have. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. I know it's stupid, but I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. Yeah. No, oh, man, these flashbacks. Was fummelt er darum? Der gute James? An der Sporttasche? Darf er das? Wir werden es herausfinden. Ein langsamer Auftakt für die dritte und letzte Episode. Aber ich denke, hier wird was vorbereitet. Und es wird ein furioses Finale werden. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao, tschüss. Dein Lumi.